Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Pythagorean Theorem. Alright, let's see what's going on here. So what is the Pythagorean Theorem? Uh, the Pythagorean Theorem, let me move my head over here. Um, it's used to find the missing sides of, an ang of a triangle. It's only for right angles. The theorem is written as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, what does that stand for? The a squared, b squared, c squared. So the longest side of the triangle is called the hypotenuse. The one that goes slanted, that's the hypotenuse. The other two that make the right angle are called the legs. Each leg can be either a or b. Doesn't matter. They're kind of interchangeable. But c always has to be the hypotenuse. Doesn't matter what is going on. Hypotenuse is always c. So... Let's do an example. So we'd have to find the missing, uh, the missing side, which is going to be C, the hypotenuse. All you're doing is plugging in the numbers into the formula and then solving. So one leg would be 5, another would be 12, and C we're looking for. All right, so we're just plugging it in and see what happens. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're going to put the 5. Uh, can you see that? 5. Right here is A. For B, we're going to put 12. And then C squared, we're just going to leave by itself because that's what we're looking for. So 5 squared, remember, squared is 5 times 5, any number times itself. Uh, so that's 25. 12 squ squared would be 144. Next, you're just adding the two together. So that makes 169. And that e will set it equal to C squared. Next, you just take 169 and square it off. Squared is the opposite of multiplying by itself. You're dividing it and seeing what times itself can get to 169. That number for us is 13. So C would equal 13. Let's try one more. But this time, instead of looking for the hypotenuse, we're going to look for one of the legs. All we're doing is just plugging it into the formula. We're solve it, then it turns into algebra. This starts as geometry, turns into algebra. If you need more help with solving basic equations, go ahead and watch the other video I've uploaded on solving basic equations. But for now, let's go through this. So, like I said before, we're looking for the missing value of the leg. So, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. For a, we're going to put 9. B squared, we're going to leave blank because we don't know what B is. And then C, it's going to be 15. All right, so square those numbers. 81 plus B squared equals 225. If you don't know off the top of your head what a number is times itself, just write it down. So 15 times 15 and then do your little crisscross method. Um, then we're going to have to isolate the B squared. So you want to subtract the 81 on both sides. Um, it says 18 here. I wrote that wrong, obviously. So just pretend it's 81. B squared equals 144 because 225 minus 81 equals 144. And then just square it off. What times itself equals 144? The answer is 12. So now we're going to try one on your own. I want you to write down on a separate piece of paper or on the notes that you're using to take this that you're watching with. Solve this triangle, all right? We're, what are we looking for? Are we looking for a hypotenuse or a leg? Plug it into the formula and then find the answer. Go ahead and pause the video now. Work on that and then click resume when you're ready. All right, so let's check your answers. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we are looking for one of the legs. That's going to be A. B, the other leg is 3 because it's on the side of the right angle. And then the hypotenuse is 5, so that is C. Square off all of those problems. A squared plus 9 equals 25. Subtract 9 to get A by itself. And then... 25 minus 9 is 16. What times itself is 16? That's going to be 4. So things to remember, this only works for triangles with the right angle. It does not work on acute or obtuse triangles. If you need help identifying those, go ahead and watch the other video on types of triangles.
if the formula doesn't work, then it's not a right triangle, okay? So if you're not able to square it properly and it comes out like a decimal or whatever, you're not going to be able to find it. Um, sometimes in terms of the high set, you may be able to leave it at the squared. So how you see a square 16, sometimes you'll be able to see it as like square root of 5. And that might be an answer option. You can go ahead and put that. But this doesn't work on other triangles, only for right triangles, all right? Also, keep in mind, each leg can be either A or B. And then C is always the longest side, and it's called the hypotenuse. So this is the source I used for this, uh, this lesson today. But overall, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and submit your notes if you need any questions. If you have any questions, please just let me know, and thank you for tuning in.